So the iPhone calendar application has so many different things within it, it's not even funny. But there are also some really cool tips and tricks that I'd recommend everyone to kind of think about when they're using their calendar app. Now the first thing I'd probably kind of like you know, checking out is actually within the icon itself. Did you actually know that within the calendar application, you actually do have the actual you know, date of what it is today? So it's Thursday, September 21st when I'm filming this, and you actually can see that it does show me that it is September 21st on my calendar or my icon. So that's something that's actually really cool. I love being able to see it. And it's a really, really nice feature that Apple actually put in within that specific calendar application. Now, on top of that, another thing, you know, there's so many tips and tricks that I'd probably recommend, you know, people kind of checking out. Within the calendar application, did you actually know that you can change the view of the, you know, actual calendar? So you can see right here, most of the time when people open up the calendar, it looks something like this, right? So you can basically go through and see all your different like events that you have within that day. But if you actually want to, you can actually click on the calendars button that's at the very bottom right here, and it will show you all. What you can do is you can actually tap on this little back button within the little, you know, whatever it says, September or whatever. If you tap on that, it'll actually give you a display of the complete entire months that are available right now. And you can scroll through and check out all the other months that you have available. But what you can also do is tap back and see all of the year basically that's available right now. So that's another really cool thing. Instead of scrolling through like one by one for per day or per month, you can actually scroll through per year. And if you needed to find an event that was way longer, like way long, you know, way longer ago, you'll basically be able to see that and do that, which is really cool. Now, another thing, if you want to just quickly get back into the today that is today, you can tap on today and it'll take you straight in today. You can tap on today again, and it will go ahead and open up your calendar. Now, another thing that some people may not even know is that Siri can actually make calendar events for you. So if you invoke Siri, you can actually go ahead and just basically say, hey, make a calendar event for tomorrow for, you know, 4 p.m. So for example, make a calendar event tomorrow at 4 p.m. for lunch. And Siri will automatically go ahead and make a new you know, calendar event for us, which is actually really cool. So now if we want to, we can go and just click on here. It's already scheduled. So if I go and hop out of here, if I go to tomorrow, you'll see at 4 p.m. I have this little thing for lunch. Now these events are really cool because what you can always do is tap into the event and there are so many things you can edit. So for one, you can change the calendar type if you wanna change it home to work. You can make more calendars if you want to. You can also add an alert. So alerts are really cool within calendar because they will notify you before that event takes place. So if you want to, you can you know make an alert for 10 minutes before, five minutes before, at the time of the event, whatever the case is. And it's really nice because if it's a work meeting or if it's another meeting like that, you can actually go through and just essentially add it to your calendar like this. And that's another option you have. You can always click on edit and there's so many things you can just kind of modify here. You can add URLs to a calendar event and have you know, notes if you want to. So if it's a work meeting, you can go ahead and add a link to a, you know, a PowerPoint or something like that, but also add notes within that calendar event too. If there's something you're missing or if there's a problem or something like that, you can always just go ahead and add them within the notes, which is honestly a very, very cool thing. Now, on top of that, did you actually know that you can actually change you know, your days of your events? So instead of changing it through there, you can actually just hold this event down and drag and drop it and change it to a different day if you want to. But also, you can go ahead and drag and drop this specific event if you want to, to a completely different day just by dragging it like this. So now I can drag and drop this event if I want to, not only within this day or drag and drag, you know, within day by day, but I can drag and drop it wherever I want to. So now I can drag and drop it to, let's say September 20th. I don't even know if it actually worked. So it looks like it didn't work that specific time, or I, I guess it did. Maybe it drag and dropped it to a different day. But essentially, you have that type of capability, which is really cool. Now, I don't know which day it actually dragged it into, so that's kind of funny. But regardless, that's essentially one option. Okay, so it's still on the same day. But you can drag and drop it just within that specific channel too, which is really cool. Now, if you want to, if you want to tap on calendars, which is at the very bottom, you can actually go through and share calendars out to other people. So if there's a work event or if somebody needs your you know, calendar to you know, plan something or something like that, you can click on calendars, which is at the bottom, and you can choose a specific calendar. So let's say my home calendar right here. I can click on the eye next to it, and I can go ahead and change a few things. I can change the color of my calendar. I can add event alerts, public calendar if I want to. I can delete this calendar, or I can add a person to this calendar if I really want to. So that's another option that I, really, you know, that I have here. That if I wanted to, I can go ahead and share this calendar out to somebody else. And that's another option that I have as well. So those are just a few different tricks and tips that you kind of have within your iPhone calendar. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. 
hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.